Youth Runner here with uh, the dynamic duo from uh, Mountain Vista. Uh, we're at the Liberty Bell Invitational. Uh, Benji Anderson, champion, uh, two-time winner on my left of the boys sweepstakes. Uh, ben Adams uh, on my right, third overall, but the second fastest Colorado guy because Jaron Wisner from Oregon Mountain in New Mexico uh, was uh, in the teal in between you guys. Uh, Benji, a lot of history today. First guy ever to go under uh, 15 twice. First guy ever to win the sweepstakes twice because Cole Sprout was doing it in varsity races before he won the sweepstakes. Like, uh, just to, I know how proud you were of the victory last year. Now to etch your name, yo, know, it's not Wolf, it's not Sprout, it's not Culpepper, it's not anybody else. It's Anderson uh, that, uh, that, uh, that achieved that. How much does that mean to you? It means a lot. I think um, I take pride in what we do at Mount Vista and it's just the hard work that we've done as a team and as I've done. Um, so I think a lot of it goes out to the coaches at Mount Vista. They work us hard, but I think the results show, so I'm proud of it. Obviously, you have uh, just continued to grow and develop and, and improve. I know it's only September 14th, Ben, but obviously we saw what this did for Benji last year and propelling him forward. Like just how how inspiring, how motivating, how validating is this for you? Yeah, I mean, this means a lot. The goal is just to keep getting better as it goes on. And obviously, you know, our coaches are going to work to get us better as the season goes. But yeah, it's a really good start to do this and hopefully it can get better as the season goes. How much do you, you feel like you kind of were in just in command of, you know, understanding what you wanted to do on the course and executing the race plan this yeah. year, even in comparison to last. I mean, yeah, it worked really good. Last year, I was kind of getting used to racing. It was my first big varsity race. And this year, I knew what I was doing. My goal was sub-15, and I was able to just stick with it the whole race, kick well at the end, and do that. Most definitely. In, uh, in terms of, you know, obviously, you went as far as you possibly could in, in December. Did that cause you and, and you know, Coach Jonathan, Coach Eric, like to, to kind of just, you know, like really understand, you know, where you wanted to be and just being really patient, you know, in, in August and September, you know, knowing that the, the goal was either going to be to race on December 7th, December 14th, or both? Yeah, no, totally. I think um, right now especially, like, we've just been building up a ton of mileage. Um, I mean, obviously everyone's dealing with a little bit of sickness right now, and I think after last full locker nationals, I developed a breathing disorder, so I've been working through that, and I'm super grateful just to where I am right now. I think it's been a long journey, so I'm, I mean, we've been taking it relatively chill in the beginning, um, just because we know we've got NX Center full locker ahead. Um, so I think it's just building mileage right now and seeing where the fitness is at. So all that, all that being said, like, uh, I mean, I know that anytime the gun goes off and especially on home soil, you know, that you're going to want to compete. Like, you know, Jaron is a phenomenal athlete, one of the best in New Mexico, but you don't want to let people, you know, just like, you know, when athletes from Wyoming would come in, like, you know, or, or you know, Nevada or, uh, or New Mexico, like, I mean, you want to, you want to make a statement, but I mean, is this kind of a pleasant surprise for you? Is just the, the level that you were able to reach, you know, considering like, you know, just how patient the whole group is early in the year? Um, or was this about what you expected? I think this is about what I expected. I know Jerome's a phenomenal guy. Um, he reached out a little bit earlier in the week and I like looked him up. I was like, this dude's legit. Um, so I think just, I mean, everyone wants to come out here and run fast. This is the meet to do it at. Um, so I knew we were going to run really fast. Um, I didn't know how fast, but I think, yeah, sub-1450 sounds about right. Most definitely. How proud are you of, of this gentleman to your left? I'm so psyched. I mean, we're training partners. Um, it's on my nerves a little bit, but I think it's just the youth. He's going to be a phenomenal athlete. Um, so I think just working with him right now, I mean, it's so special. Um, I know he's going to do great things uh, his junior and senior year, so he'll be great. Ben, just, to, I mean, first of all, you know, you, you, not only a, a, as a as a human being, as a friend, as a, as a leader, you can't ask for a better training partner or whatnot, yeah. but just, you know, I mean, not only to have him, Coach Jonathan, Coach Eric, mm -hmm. you know, just the rest of your teammates, like, just what is it like to be able to kind of just soak in that knowledge on a daily basis? Uh, I mean, it makes such a big difference having, like, some of the best coaches in the state being able to run with Benji and workouts and runs and just have the whole team working together it makes it so much easier than doing it by myself and yeah you know, I've just learned so much from them and all our coaches and yeah it's helped a lot so when you get down to the to the sock in the arch and you're like and you're going uphill and whatnot I mean like are you are you starting to 
key in on that clock, or did, did you have yeah, a really well, good feeling that you were sub-15? Well, I didn't think I was sub-15. I thought it was going to be close, but yeah, when we got about halfway up, I, thought, I saw the clock, and I was like, wow, this is going to be fast, and kind of <laughs> let me kick a little bit harder. But yeah, that was really exciting to see the clock and see 14.50. Yeah. Awesome. And Benji, uh, last thing, uh, I mean, uh, 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 just uh, uh, to be able uh, just to, to continue to you not only find that, uh, that consistency in, in racing, but especially, and I appreciate you being so transparent about the breathing issue. You know, I knew that was the case, but obviously that's better coming from you than it is coming from me. I, I just, you know, how much does it really, you know, I mean, you always have gratitude, you always have appreciation, but just realizing that you can be as good as your former self or even better than your former self, considering all those challenges, you know, that occurred after last December. Yeah, I think, I don't know where my limits are at right now, and I think I'm just, so grateful for everything that I've been through. I think I've taken this time to build up my faith a lot and just use God as kind of my motivation to get through it. And I think it's helped a ton. And it's just, it just excites me for the future, just knowing that where I'm at right now, considering everything, um, it just shows that I got a lot of potential, um, even past high school, and I think that's the main goal. In terms of the teams, Benji Anderson, Ben Adams, uh, one and three overall, in one and two for Colorado place. Mountain Vista, fifth as a team. Uh, but I know that that's going to continue uh, to elevate as the season goes on. We have a, the only two-time sweepstakes champion and certainly a future champion uh, right in front of us here at the Liberty Bell Invitational. Guys, great job. Thank you. Thank you.